Hi, I'm John Hornick. Welcome to my Italian Faves series. This lesson is Cacio e Pepe 1. Cacio e Pepe is a classic Roman dish that's both simple and delicious. Even though it's simple, if you look on the internet, you'll find a lot of different variations. Although I usually use freshly made pasta in most of my dishes, in this dish I use dried pasta because I want the starch from the pasta to concentrate in the pasta water as it cooks. I also use butter in this version, which many cooks don't. You could add a protein like chicken or shrimp to this dish, but then it would be more of a chicken or shrimp dish. The idea of cacio e pepe is to let the pasta, cheese, and pepper shine. You'll see in the video that I add pasta water at the end to make the dish creamier. The pasta and cheese soak up the water, so if you want a very creamy dish, you may need to use more water than you think, but add a little bit at a time so you don't overdo it. So let's start cooking. Okay, let's heat our water and uh, have a pot, a pot of uh, pasta water here with a strainer. And we're gonna just lightly salt it. How much? Probably about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, something like that. All right, we're gonna bring that to a boil. And after it gets hot, we're gonna stir it up because this is kosher salt. It's not as fine as uh, table salt. And uh, I want it to dissolve into uh, the water. All right, now we're gonna toast the pepper. Now this pepper was um, two teaspoons of whole black peppercorns that I ground in a mortar and pestle. You could do it in a pepper mill, but you want a coarse grind, not a fine grind. If you grind them uh, in a, in a uh, mortar and pestle, um, you'll get them, they'll be pretty coarse naturally. And you know, you wanna try to crack all of them if you can. Some of them will be cracked and ground more than others, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in a dry pan, okay? And spread them out a little bit. We're gonna put them on low to medium heat and we're gonna let them toast in that pan until we get some fragrance. Probably gonna take about two to three minutes depending on your heat. Again, I want low to medium heat. we we'll just just, uh, Move them around a little bit, okay? Every, um, you know, every so often during the time that you're toasting them. I can see there's a couple of whole peppercorns in there. Uh, I'll probably pick those out later. I missed them when I was doing the grinding in the mortar and pestle. Okay, it's been about two minutes or so. They're getting a nice, hmm, what's it smell like? Toasted pepper smell, okay? Now we're just gonna turn off the heat, take this off the heat. All right, let's add our pasta to the water. And we're gonna let that cook until it's al dente. You're gonna to have to do it according to your package instructions, okay? For uh, this linguine, it is 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm gonna check it at about 10 minutes. And we gotta get the uh, pasta down into water. We might have to come back and tend to that a little bit, okay? Because it's gonna to have to soften up a little bit before we get it in the water. So you wanna keep working on that so you get it all down in the water. We'll come back in about 10 minutes and check it. Now, while the pasta is cooking, we're going to uh, get the sauce ready for the pasta, okay? So we're gonna put the cheese into a nice wide bowl, okay? And we're gonna add the pepper. I don't, I don't wanna leave any in the pan here, so we'll try to get all of that. Okay, and we're gonna add the butter. Then we're gonna mix that up. Then we wanna kinda of spread this out evenly on the bottom of the bowl. Now what's gonna happen is this. We're gonna cook, we're gonna finish cooking the pasta. When the pasta is just al dente, we're gonna pick the pasta up with tongs and we're, gonna, we're not gonna let it drain. We're gonna let some water stay on that pasta, all right? And then we're gonna put that pasta into this bowl with tongs and we're gonna swirl it around to mix it up, which was gonna make kind of a creamy sauce. Now, after we do that, if we need to, we'll add a bit more water to make it a little bit more creamy and we're gonna add the pasta water because it has a lot of starch in it, okay? So that's gonna be our next step after the pasta reaches the al dente point. Okay, our pasta is al dente and what we're gonna do is just pick it up out of the, the camera shut off there, pick it up out of the pot 
and you know don't let it drain so it still has some water on it and grab it with your tongs and put it down into your cheese mixture with the pepper. Try to get as much of the pasta as you can out of the pot. I have a couple here on the board. I'm going to put those in there. The board is clean. Okay, now we're going to swirl the pasta around in that cheese. And I, need, I see it needs to be loosened up a bit. So I'm going to take some of the pasta water. Just add a little bit to it. Okay, swirl it around some more. Oh yeah, that's getting a nice sauciness to it. Okay, it's well mixed there. All right, now this is ready to plate up immediately, okay? I'm going to add just a little bit more of the pasta water to make it just a little bit creamier. Okay, now we're ready to plate up. Okay, now we're going to plate up. Uh, in case you're wondering, I'm actually only making a half uh, amount of what I have in the, um, in the notes, okay? Uh, but if you're making for four, just make the amount that's in the notes, okay? All right, now what we want to do is garnish that with a little bit more pepper. Now, I have some that was from the grinding that I did earlier. You could use a pepper mill at this point, just a tiny bit, okay? And we're also going to garnish with a little bit more cheese. And there we have it. That's cacio e pepe. One. Bowls are pretty hot. You can see photos of the final dish at my Instagram, which is at Chef's Apprentice Cook Like a Pro. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.